Hi, it's uh, Steve here from analyticsinaction.com and what I want to do today is give you a bit of a demo on the Microsoft Visio data mining add-in for Excel. Okay, I'm going to cover four things today. First of all, I'll talk about uh, what is the Microsoft Visio data mining add-in, uh, why you'd want to use it. I'll give you a practical example and then also give you a few additional resources for, um, for um, Microsoft Business Intelligence data mining uh, and analysis. So. So what is the uh, Microsoft uh, Visio data mining add-in and, and why would you want to use it? Well, if we uh, look at a, a standard um, output from the, uh, from the um, uh, data mining add-in within Excel, say a decision tree like we're looking at here, uh, when you output it, it outputs it as a very, very static file with um, no ability, you don't have any ability to format it. Um, it's that's okay if it comes out if this format is exactly what you want, but um, if it's not, you know you're um, you're fairly limited. But if you use the um, the Visio um, data mining add-in, you get a lot. You get an output which is a lot. It's a lot slicker looking. You've got a lot more scope to um, to. Um, to change the layout and the look and the, and the feel and, and make it look a lot more aesthetically pleasing, you know. So something as simple as you can s select a, um, a particular part of it and you can format it with it. Maybe something as simple as increasing the font, like I'm doing here, or changing colours. Um, you've pretty much got ultimate um, flexibility with the um, with the uh, uh, using the Visio um, add-in. So what I'll do today is give you a practical example on um, how to use it. So first thing with um, with the um, tool, um, I'll one of the one of the actually one of the first things I'll say is if you want to get information or help on um, on the the Visio tool, there's very very little information on the, on the internet. What you need to do is go into Excel the data mining tab and then into the the help menu and this is where the best information is um, and when you search online you this sort of information won't, won't come up so that's the uh, first tip so um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to assume that you've got the uh, data mining um, add-in uh, installed uh, but you may not have installed the uh, the Visio component so what you can do to uh, install the Visio component you can just go through to so the data mining tab, go through to help, getting started, and then it'll um, set up the configuration um, sort of utility for the data mining add-in for Office 2007. And what you do is you can just go straight through the um, through the um, through the wizard, and you'll have the option to install the um, Visio data mining um, add-in. And one thing to note, it doesn't, uh, being a Visio add-in, it doesn't appear within Excel. So nothing in here will um, change uh, change that much. But when you open up um, Visio, because of course you need Visio for the for for this, um, and you actually need Visio 2007 or the latest version, Visio 2010. Um, when you um, start up Visio, so I'll just close this down. So open something, open it up. Um, the uh, you'll see this Microsoft data mining um, template, and this is at the heart of the uh, of the add-in. If you don't see that, you can navigate to it, and generally where it'll be found is uh, where the template will be found is you click the open, go to uh, be your C drive or wherever you've got it in, installed, program files, um, and then it'll be um, the Microsoft SQL Server 2008 data mining add-ins. If we go in there, you should see um, the uh, Microsoft Visio template. So that's essentially in your uh, program files under Microsoft SQL Server data mining add-in and then you uh, just go open it, select it, open it and bring it bring it up. 
So what that will uh, do is uh, make it visible. So um, first of all, to actually, um, what you need to have done is actually run a um, a model within um, within Excel. Um, so this is so you've got something the actual um, Visio add-in will actually pick up on. So for example, you want to run a um, a classification model. I won't go into actually what this data set is because it doesn't really matter for the um, for the purpose of this. But so if you want to run a classify model. Let's go yes, yes, uh, just configure this, so, right, next, okay. so I'm just going to set that run, it'll only take a, uh, a few seconds to, uh, to run through. But that'll generate the model in the uh, in the background, and we'll see the um, see the tree appear um, within Excel. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the tree that's been uh, that's been produced. So if I wanted to copy this to Excel, let's see that it's produced it here and that's a fairly static um, version so but if we go into say Visio do data mining add-in and what we do is on the left hand side you'll see that the um, the template um, is visible there and all you need to do is pick the sort of model that you're um, looking at you want to visualize so it'll either be here it's a um, decision tree or classification type model uh, dependency network um, there and um, and then there's also the clustering sorry that's the clustering above the tree here and then it's dependency network but we just drag it on and basically this will just kick off a wizard which allows you to um, um, which will generate the uh, the model for you what you can do is you can play around with all sorts of settings so whether you want to show support which is the number of items within each branch of the tree um, let's go finish then I'll go through pull the data through from uh, from analysis services where the uh, the model is being currently being stored because um, what happens is the um, Excel add-in um, will set the model running but it'll actually be um, sent off to analysis services and the model will be produced there um, so this then plugs into the analysis services so this the end result is um, is the model within Visio so again like I'm saying you can um, edit these or do whatever you want uh, with the actual um, <coughs> with the decision tree that's uh, that's produced. So, really, that's about uh, about it. Fairly fairly simple. It's just a matter of being aware of it more than uh, more than anything. So, um, um, so that's pretty much what I want to talk to uh, all. I really wanted to cover today. Um, and if you want to uh, see any more. Um, training videos on um, data mining, data analysis, business intelligence, you know, come across to Analytics in Action or subscribe to uh, this YouTube channel.